Hey everybody, this is Video Fort Brendan. Welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to apply video effects to your clips. Video effects can be anything from color correction to color grading to adding a blur to your shot or sharpening or anything really that you want to do with the, with the shot. So once you have your shot in your timeline, and I chose this shot for a reason because it's a pretty flat, dull shot and the colors aren't very good, so it's, it's, a, it's a nice shot that I could color correct or add effects to or anything to, to make it look more lively. So once you have your shot in your timeline and you're ready to go and you want to you wanna start making it look better or add a style to it or whatever you want to do, uh, you're going to add video effects. So to do that, you're going to come over to the effects tab, click that, and you're going to see a few different folders. And you're going to come down here to video effects where all of the effects that come with Premiere exist. I have a few in here that you guys may not, like these universe ones or the red giant. Those are all plugins. But one of the tools that I use most within the effects, <coughs> video effects, is under color correction, and that's the RGB curves. So say I want to apply the RGB curves or any of these effects really like there's, there's blurs, there's color correction, uh, distort, king, noise. So if I want to apply any of these, it's all I have to do is click it and drag it over to the clip that I want to apply it to. And now RGB curves, the adjustment tool, is now part of this clip. You didn't see anything change because I haven't made any adjustments to the video effect yet. So to make the adjustments so that you can actually see the change, say you want to add some contrast or pull out some of the reds or add some greens or whatever with the RGB curves, to find that effect, you're going to want to come up to the effects control tab over here where your source window is. So you click that and there's my RGB curves. There's a, curve, there's a line for blue, there's a line for green, red, and the master. So this clip's pretty flat, it's not very saturated, it's kind of boring, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some contrast to it with a little S-curve. An S-curve basically uh, boosts the highlights and uh, drops the shadows a little bit so that there's a little more contrast between the highs and the lows of the shot, which then makes it, in most cases, a more interesting shot. So to create an S-curve, I'm going to place an anchor point right in the middle, right here, for the highlights. The highlights are up here, shadows are down here, and these are the midtones and another one right there. So if I want to boost the highlights, I go a little bit up. And to drop the shadows down a little bit, I go down like this. So it's already a pretty interesting shot. It's a little dark, um, but it's looking pretty good. Here's a before and after, just with a little S-curve. Uh, it's looking a little bit green to me, so I'm going to pull out some of the greens just to show you what that did. Um, so the shot's looking a little dark to me, and if I want to boost it up, some people use the RGB curves, uh, which does look pretty nice, but it's still overall a little dark for me. So what I, a tool that I like to use is called Luma Curves which is within the color correction folder. It's right here. So again, to apply the effect to a clip, you pull it over here, you click, and you drag. I'm gonna hide the RGB curves, and there's my Luma curve. The difference between RGB and Luma, uh, RGB affects the colors, whereas Luma only affects the uh, exposure and the brightness of the actual shot. So with Luma Curve, to boost the exposure overall, all I'm going to do is put one little anchor point right in the middle and just pull it up. Now it's nice and bright. You can see everything. It's a little bit nicer to look at. It's not as gloomy uh, before, after. So I've now applied two effects to my clip, uh, Luma Curves and RGB. You should generally adjust your exposure before you start adding contrast. So, And I didn't do that this time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Luma Curves, which is right here, click and drag it above the RGB so that the Luma Curves is applied to the shot before the added contrast is. Premiere Pro is applying the Luma Curve before it's applying the RGB Curve. So the RGB Curve is now affecting the, L the Luma Curve as well. Whereas if I have it below, the RGB Curve applies to the shot and then the Luma Curve applies to everything 
before that, which is the shot and now the RGB curve. So I want to adjust the brightness before the curves so that I get that brightness and the contrast. So if you look at it now, you add the brightness and then you add the curves and it looks much nicer than it does the other way around. So that's how you apply a video effect to a shot. Thanks for watching another exciting video for a tutorial. Check back in next week for another exciting tutorial. Thanks again. Thank <laughs> you.